wanna be free of this heart. Yeah, wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about some. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. How is it going? Today's video is going to be a nighttime routine and nighttime basically starts uh, around now. I am actually trying to finish really quickly editing a video but I also need to start dinner so I'm going to kind of be multitasking but I kind of wanted to show you guys uh, what our typical evening looks like. So if you want to know how that goes, watch the video more. Come and join. So for dinner tonight, I am going to be making a beefy, uh, what is it called? Beefy skillet lasagna. I have never made this recipe before. I don't have any like beefy crumbles, so I am going to use some meatballs and they're frozen, so this is gonna be interesting. So pray for me. <laughs> it only calls for 10 ounces, so I'm going to weigh out 10 ounces of balls. Perfect, 10 ounces of balls it is. I've got my meatballs and I'm gonna toss them in and cook them. I'm gonna be sneaky and I'm going to grate some zucchini into the recipe. I heard that. Good. I'll put the recipe in the description, but I'm also gonna kinda of tell you guys the things that I add to it. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm gonna grate this into there and I'm also gonna add some onions to saute with the veggie balls as well. I don't think it calls for it. I just kinda of do my own thing. <laughs> So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm just getting my onion ready for slicing and then I'll be using my OXO grater slicer situation to grate the zucchini. I started grating the zucchini without the little safety thing. Do not do that, especially if you like your fingers. I will link this OXO contraption in the description. It's so much easier to meal prep and cook using it. It's amazing. <laughs> The recipe said to use two cups of marinara, but little PSA, that's one jar, so you're welcome. Next, I just added some water to help with cooking, and then I just broke up the lasagna noodles. I wish I would have broken up a little bit smaller because Winnie really didn't like the bigger pieces, so if you have young kids that are kind of picky, maybe make them a little bit smaller. One tablespoon of nooch? Are you even vegan? Hashtag vegan humor. <laughs> Once you have everything in the pot, you pretty much just simmer it with a lid on it until it's done. I ended up having to add a little bit more liquid while I was cooking just so it wouldn't stick and burn. By this point, Charlie had come home from work and I'm pretty much just cleaning up as I go so I don't have a ton of stuff to do after cooking, which honestly, I end up having a ton of stuff to do cleaning wise anyways, as you guys will see in this video. <laughs> I always make some sort of vegetable with dinner. On this night, I chose broccoli. Honestly, when I don't want to fight with my kids, I will make broccoli because it's the one vegetable that I know that they will absolutely eat for me. I just empty a bag of broccoli into a Pyrex container, add a little bit of water, throw a plate on top of it, and I usually cook it for about six minutes. It depends on the size of the bag. While dinner is cooking, Charlie and I just kind of sat together and talked about our day. So this is something that we really enjoy doing. Sometimes it's while we're cooking, other times it's after the kids go to bed. Since the kids have been 100% virtual for almost two months, we like to have dance parties so they can kind of get some of their energy out. We try to play outside, but it's fall in Wisconsin and it's been pretty cold lately, so a dance party does just fine. I don't think this recipe called for baby spinach, but I ended up just breaking up some pieces and stirring it in so it wilted. It just adds a little bit of greens and the kids will mostly avoid it, I'll be honest, but we do have them take a few bites with spinach in it. I ended up putting some Dea mozzarella shreds on top. This recipe was so good. This is kind of what the final recipe looked like. It was a hit with everyone in our family. Delilah has asked for this numerous times since making this, so I would say she really likes it. 
One thing that I've kind of learned with trying to get my kids to try new things or maybe eat a little bit healthier is always have at least one thing that I know that they're going to enjoy. And a lot of the times it will be butter bread. So I will give them some butter bread, a vegetable, sometimes, uh, you know, maybe a fruit, things that I know that they will eat and they're more likely to try the new recipe. I don't know why, but it seems to really work for them. And it was something that I found like on some blog somewhere and it was a really great tip. What did Winnie just dare you? To eat all my spinach and nuts. You gotta at least try it for the dare. Yeah, you have to try all of it. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, you, you gotta eat it with a bite of something else and then you won't notice it. That's the trick. That wasn't even any spinach in there. There's no spinach in there either. Yeah, you can't even tell there's spinach, can you? No. <laughs> no I said, Dad, you, you looked Dad, up. could I you tell that there was zucchini in this? Oh, Mom, I knew. Oh. Mom. You couldn't tell though. For some reason, we were playing truth or dare during dinner and Winnie dared Charlie to let Delilah paint his nails. So she painted his toenails nice and pink <laughs> and they're still pink, but I thought it was super cute that he let her do that. After dinner, the girls asked to go on the tablets, but we're really trying to cut down on it a little. So I just suggested that they color and draw and they had a really great time doing it. And they honestly didn't even realize that they weren't allowed to go on the tablets. I try to be really smooth about it, but you guys know, you parents, the struggle is real lately and we're all just in survival mode, but they still had a really great time. Every day I try to do at least one load of laundry, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. Sometimes I'll do it in the morning before I work out and I'll end up switching the load over at night. It's really just kind of whatever works, but really trying to keep up on top of my laundry. If you saw my last video, I'll link it in the eye in the sky, but I spent like the whole day taking care of my laundry situation. So your girl is really trying to stay on top of it. This is our laundry soap that we use. I'll also link that in the description for you guys. I love this stuff. We've been using it for a long time and it lasts quite a while. In my last video, I mentioned how I don't fold Charlie's laundry. So this night I had asked him if he wouldn't mind folding his laundry because the basket was just kind of chilling there. So we just kind of folded laundry together and hung out. I'm kind of the queen of multitasking. So here I'm just brushing my teeth and getting my workout clothes for the next day, as well as my uh, clothes that I'm going to wear to work for the next day. So. I was really tired this night, so I was just trying to get as much done as quickly as possible so I could get to bed early. One thing that is so helpful for me is preparing as much as possible as I can for the following day. Here I'm just packing up the kids stuff because I worked the next day so I, I'm not able to homeschool them every single day. So just getting their stuff ready to make it smoother in the morning for Charlie because Charlie is the one that drops them off. So we try to get everything ready and then we put it in the kitchen so it is just ready to go. This is all the stuff. This is just Delilah's stuff. It is a lot. <laughs> Next, I'm just trying to clean up my room. My bed is a little bit messy. As you guys know, I don't have an office anymore, so I was editing on my bed, which is why it looks like my desk is my bed, because it is, so I think I found a desk that I want. It's just trying to figure out where exactly to put it. I think I might put it in my bedroom. I know I told you guys on Instagram that I might put it in front of this mirror in my living room, but honestly, I really need a quiet space to work, so that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. So Charlie and I are kind of multitasking, working together, just getting the house kind of tidy because it's so much nicer in the morning when the house is clean. It's something I'm not that great at, but I've really been trying to keep on top of lately. As you can see right here, I am like burnt out, <laughs> so burnt out. So just kind of getting some snuggles before carrying on with the rest of the tidying. When I'm feeling really overwhelmed, I will ask Charlie to kind of help me with specific tasks and he's really good with working together and this night I asked him if he would vacuum. 
He was totally cool with it, so he vacuumed while I did the dishes. And now my favorite time of the night, climbing into bed, reading a good book, and going to bed early. Sometimes I go to bed early. Around the time that I filmed this video, I had been working so, so much and picking up a lot of shifts that were weird hours, call shifts, things like that. So the girls came and they tucked me in. Usually it's the other way around, but like I said, this is just kind of one example of a night in my life. If you're curious, I'm currently reading the book called Gone Girl. I'm not that far into it, but so far it's pretty good. I'll link it for those of you that want to kind of look at it if you're like me and you love reading. So Charlie came last, but certainly not least, to snuggle me and say goodnight. You too, baby. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, my goodness. Yeah, good. I hope you see good. Thanks, baby. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're a good mommy. You're a good poots my goats. You're my favorite mom. In the You're whole my world. favorite Winnie in the whole wide world. I love you. You're I love cute. you more. You're cute. You wish. You wish. You wish. I love you. I love you. Good night. Too.